Ugh. Hey! Look, we're back to where we were. Let's try to not save as much, but I probably won't keep that promise. I'm bad at that. I've made no such promises. What are you guys talking about? We're here to play Mario. Hey, it's the fireball that insta-killed me that led me to seeing if my save existed. For the sake of extra lives, of all things. Anyways. Now we are just swimming in the power-ups, but that is uh, not without abusing safe states. So, my god, the second we stop. <laughs> this is some pretty good rendition of the music. I think we've probably heard this once before already. I'm scared to come out here because it's not like distance triggered, I don't think. <clears throat> oh, for those wondering though, yes, I did hack my SNES Classic. Hence the fact that I was listening that I was playing Breath of Fire because... I'm sure somebody picked up on the fact that that's not a game on there. One thing I didn't notice, is SimCity on there? I, I could have swore they put SimCity on there, but I don't think I actually remember seeing it in the games that are there, or the games that I have. I didn't go crazy with how many I put on there. I was like, I know we're doing the Super Nintendo Cron Quest, which is back, which is a thing we've been doing with Twitch and for Mo, that thing on the bottom right of my screen usually, that um, is to beat every North American and PAL um, Super Nintendo game in chronological order ever created. And it's about 12 of us. We started it last year. We stopped it for a long time because there's a lot of bullshit on the Super Nintendo. Oh, hello. Okay, it's giving me a warning. It gave me a warning. That's that's very nice of it. Um, But I don't want to just put all the bullshit I'm playing on there, you know? Because, like, there, like I said, there's a lot of garbage on the fucking Super Nintendo. As much as we probably don't want to remember the garbage, it's just that. We don't remember the garbage. So, we have a selective memory, but there is a lot of pain on there. But there is a lot of fun times to be had, especially the way we're doing... Oops, whatever. Especially the way we're doing it um, ugh, with a lot of the... Uh, you know, we try to get people to play games they haven't played before. If it's kind of shitty games, I don't think we care as much because it's just like, well, we just need to get through this hellhole. <laughs> is is more the case with those games in particular uh but yeah i'm not when it comes to the super nintendo classic i put about 50 games on there i think that was stuff that i knew i had before um wanted to play in the future or otherwise so as you can imagine i kind of like knew about the lufias and the breath of fires and stuff and the illusions of gaia which actually won't go on there because i was told it wouldn't work but stuff like that that I haven't played, that I put on there and I'm playing through. And as a lot of you guys know, I'm not necessarily doing a lot of the blind playthroughs, he says, while playing a blind game. It's a bit different when I know the formula, at least, in cases like this. Um, <clears throat> I wonder if I disabled my load state. That would probably just be the best idea from here out. And I can just continue to uh, save. I had that there for the sake of Conquest, by the way. <clears throat> um, I don't remember what I was saying. Yeah, I was playing like Breath of Fire and stuff. Ooh. Fuck yeah, you did. Oh. I know Chris hates this song, but I fucking love this song. No fucking question. This is my favorite zone from um, Sonic 2, which is probably, well... I don't know if I like Sonic 3 or 2 better, but I fucking love this song. Man. I love this zone. Genesis really does not have a good sound card or whatever in it. But, I don't know, the Sonic games seem to manage fine. And Hilltop Man, oh, I love that song. I gotta enjoy this for a sec. Cool, you can break those guys. I shouldn't be saving as much as I am, but if I make a habit of it, then it's not going to be a problem. I will be the first to admit that I have never quite figured out Hammer Bros. I know there's... Oh, God! Going back to, like, difficulty scaler and those kind of things. The original idea of the Hammer Bros was to be, obviously, the hard mode character. Or not, you know, not hard mode, but the hardest enemy to fucking face. But, um... I digress. Yeah, I've never figured out a great way to deal with them. I really don't. I have not discovered a pattern. I have not been um, good enough to actually try and notice, I feel like, at the same time. So, that's kind of on me. But I'd rather just... Uh, you know what? 
that's usually how I deal with them, is getting underneath them. I don't know how to time it from above. I never will. I probably never will beat the first Mario game. Now that I've said that, please do not beg me to do it. Because uh, I'm already beating a library of games that I probably don't want to beat a lot of. So, um, the thing with me that is interesting when it comes to, like the Cron Quest and stuff. And yeah, I did explain that. Obviously, we're trying to get the best endings for everything. So, there's been a lot of brutality even in some of the uh, quote-unquote good games. Just because the way difficulty was uh, back then. Oh, fucker. <clears throat> Fuck it. <laughs> I don't want to do it all again. As much as I like the song. I, I love how I put that away on the keyboard. <laughs> now I can still access it pretty easily. <laughs> oh, what was I saying? Nah. Yeah, it's interesting. Because, like, there is an odd appeal to... And I guess it's probably a false sense of... Um, like victory or whatever it is that video games give that uh, all them angry parents always argue about. <laughs> That's the best way to describe that, is it not? Fuck you, no. <laughs> no. You know what, Hammer Bros? You can take that hit, because it's never going to stop being taken. Okay, great. I'm glad I got rid of the Prana Plant that wasn't giving me issues. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. We didn't take the Koopa with... No, he'd be upside down if we did. Um, but yeah, like, usually it's not much of an appeal to beat the games, but when it comes to that, it's, it's really satisfying. Even when they're, like, bullshit, and the fact that it's just, like, this whole, like, team thing with, like, a bunch of online friends, I guess, but people I've known for, like, a long time and met last year, whatever, it's just, like, it's a fun, like, group experience of pain. <laughs> it's as good of an idea as a group experience of pain really should be. Oh god, I've made this so much worse for myself. Ugh. Can you? Oh boy. Alright, that's about the best I could have dealt with that, I think. Haha! -ha. Glitch. God, that looks weird when he's walking like that. Almost looks like. I know it's just like fists, but yeah. Yeah, we're about um, 100 games deep right now. Uh, last thing I beat was Wings 2 Aces High. That was recently. I also beat, like, Super Championship TKO Boxing or some bullshit in, like, an hour, but... The stupid thing about that game is it was, like, stupid easy. And I was able to do it on the easiest difficulty with that one, thankfully. And the ending didn't matter, as far as I could tell. Uh, but... <clears throat> stupid easy all the way through. You get to the last guy, and suddenly his resiliency is just, like, you can punch him 40 times, he doesn't even lose a single hit point, where it's, like... I had a lot of resiliency. It was my highest trait on my dude throughout the fucking training, throughout all the missions. And uh, whatever, man. I can take, like, two hits before I lose a hit point. And previously, that was pretty fucking good. Oh. I think we've used this song before. Ooh, come on. Come on. Yep, you run off that cliff. Oh, God, yeah, speaking of running off the cliff. Cubert 3 is the next thing I'm playing. And I've actually had uh, a no direct relation with Cubert in my entire life. So this is my first time. But uh, I'm mostly doing it as an assist to Ness, who is playing it. And my God, those snakes can go die. Oh, you are bomb throwers. You are new. I think you were in this game, or at least another one of these hacks I've played. Nothing up there. Hmm. It seems to me that would be a tease. I like this music, though. I'm not sure. Oh, boy, that was a bad time to pause. Oh, <laughs> how loud that music's even coming in. Ah, it's, a, it's, it's there. It's there. Oh, bombs to break that. You know what? You know what? I just don't want them in my life. Bad enough they're throwing hammers in the last level. Uh, nope. Nope, dragon coins ain't worth it, man. I mean, I think I was trying to get them, like, last time, but... <clears throat> Not too many of the Super Nintendo games have been beaten. I've been really trying to breathe life into it personally for some ungodly reason. Um, like, there's a lot of horribleness to it. Don't get me wrong, but I've, I enjoy it more often than I don't, I think. But yeah, I just, I, I am so bad for not wanting to finish games and uh, giving up pretty easily. Because I, I just, I don't, ain't nobody got time for that, man. That's, that's, that's how I feel these days. 
Um, so yeah, when it comes, I think back to my point, like probably two episodes ago at this point, because I go on tangents like Stephen King. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and I'll oh, forget my train of thought to begin with. I am pretty guilty these days for just giving up. And uh, when it comes to like save states and stuff for this, I, it's it's. I'm probably gonna argue with myself, even though nobody's arguing me on it to date. Someone probably will, but I, I, if I'm having fun with it, isn't that all that really matters? If it's entertaining to watch, that would be my uh, point to them. But it's funny how I like anticipate things that might be a problem. I think it roots from uh, the fact that uh, Proton John and Azure Blade, the people I started watching with Let's Plays, would absolutely abuse the shit out of them, and I would argue necessarily. I always thought it was completely fucking necessary, given the bullshit they were uh, having to play. Which is not at all like the pretty good games I get to play, generally, because I seek out the good ROM hacks. I, I do take requests. Uh, no one's requested anything, but uh, I would uh, probably be willing to play through some pretty kaizo -y bullshit. But uh, it, it, my, my meter of agreeing to not save state for myself is an agreement with myself on my enjoyment of the game. I think it's gonna be pretty significantly lowered if I'm continuing to play a bunch of these. I know we gotta go through a Sicari a bit too because it's been finished. But uh, it'll be significantly lower just because of the Super Nintendo Cron Quest, which makes sense to me. Oh, super thought that was a death. <laughs> I was like, oh, look how nice these coins are here. And then I was like, oh, there's not fucking anything there. That oh, yes, there is. Uh, okay, excuse me. Yeah, I think my tolerance level will be significantly lowered, though, just because of how brutal the Cron Quest is going to be on me already. For having to beat things. Are we going to get that? Are you able to catch up to that? Thank you. I, I appreciate that. I always found it interesting how both the ending and the X 